Okay, so everything had a chance to dry. Incidentally, just a word, um, word to the wise, if you guys get this kit, this glue is not like the Elma's glue that I use. When you put this glue on, when, when I use the Elma's glue, it shrinks away and disappears and it's clear. This glue doesn't. Um, if it's bulky and there's any on the outside, it's gonna dry like that. So what I had to do is I had to go and I had to paint to, to clean it up. I think we're gonna put it onto the stand. That way there, we can hold the stand and because we're gonna put the mass on and... Okay, so we did the base. The base is nice and dry, it's stained, and we painted the pieces gold. So now we're ready to mount the ship permanently onto it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some of the, the glue right into the bottom of the ship, right between the keel. You can see is where they put the, the openings. And let's mount it to the base. That's better. Want to straight up, especially if it's off a little bit, if it's leaning from one side or the other, when it, the mass are on, it's really going to show. Okay, so that looks good. I think what we're ready to do now is let's go ahead and I think we're going to do the, the deck. We're going to do the Colonial Maple right now, and we're going to get that ready. And once the Colonial Maple is on, then we can do the other colors. But the Colonial Maple is going to be for the, the actual deck. Okay, it's, I think we're going to start at the back of the ship. And with this, you don't have to put a lot. Let me just show you guys what it's going to look like. Let's see how it's starting to look in the back. The glue, whether it's the glue that came with the kit that we used or the glue that was already used to glue it together, you can see that that is not absorbing the stain, so wipe off the excess of the paint. And the nice thing is that the paint, if the paint gets any of the stain on it, you can just wipe it off. So that looks good. So now we're going to use the dark stain. do is I'm going to turn it around and we'll use the other side now. You can see we're going to do the lifeboats. And let's see, again, we can wipe away the extra. set <clears throat> and we can just do the top of this one this structure maybe it's a hatch cover and we can do the top And that's the last thing that we got to paint. We'll do a little bit of touching up on the rails, um, all the places where the stain got. We can touch it up and it'll be ready to put on the masts. Yeah, that's good. You can see, like in the picture, that structure is white. See anything else that needs to be painted white? Maybe a little bit of touching up here and there. 
that looks good. And that pretty much takes care of everything that's going to be painted. And when it comes to the masts, you can see how they're basically going to go. You've got the tallest one in the middle. The four one is the second tallest, and then the, the uh, mizzen mast, I think, is at the back, and that's the short one. And then we've got the bow spread. So, looking at these, okay, this is the bow spread, and the tallest one we'll put in the middle. So the two larger ones are going to go onto the main mast, like this. mast we'll get the the next two and this one's smaller so that one's for, for the bow sprit so this one is going to get the ones that are the next smallest back is going to get a long one. See how it's at an angle. Okay, and that leaves the bow sprit. So there's one at the end, and the bow spread is going to get that one. If this can go in, just like that. So what I wanted to do is I just wanted to make sure everything was going to fit. So the bow spread will go there. The main mast will go in the middle. So we're going to put just a bit of the glue onto the opening. off the extra because like I said this glue does not dry well and I don't want this clumping up and looking terrible okay so that looks pretty good and we're actually going to glue this into this position now so let's go to the main mast opening This is the main mast. It is. So let's see how we're going to put it. I'm put it like that, facing forward. I'm not going to turn it because I'm thinking about not putting on the masts, uh, the sails. See how that's going to go in position. All right. Now we're going to do the same thing for this one, for the foremast. Put just a drop.
a bit of glue in the back. Make sure they're all straight. We can't forget the bowsprit. Now it's starting to look more like a ship. All right, I think we need to let that dry. So there are little nails that are gonna go on. It's gonna hold the rigging. You know what I think we're gonna do? I think we're going to roll the sails and we're going to make them so they're up. So let's put them in. What that's going to do is that's going to hold the, uh, the rigging. One goes in the back, but I think we might have covered that up. Right about there. All right, I think we're gonna start with the bow spray. difference that makes. Looks good. All right. So now I think that's, I'm not going to put another coat because whatever soaks into the wood, we'll leave it like that. So it looks more like you know that the masks are made out of wood.
right, I'm not gonna push it, that looks good. So when it comes to the white, I think this paintbrush is pretty much seen. So we did the base. You remember it was the, uh, the plastic black, we painted it gold. It's all stained. Uh, recently we mounted the hull to the base. We painted the hull the different colors to match the ship. Um, on the back, there was quite a bit we had to do because there was nothing on it. We had to make the windows. Um, I had to make the logo, a separate piece of wood, paint it, and then put it on. Um, and the lattice, the lattice pieces were not there. I had to add that. So we painted the back, we painted in the windows because there were no windows at all. And then we painted, the only thing, the next video, I'm gonna put the little doors, the little hatches for the cannons for the back because that's in the ship, very prominent. Um, you can see we painted the sides. And instead of putting the cannons in, because it was like little novelty toy cannons, um, what I wanted to do was I wanted to actually make it look like when we visited the ship, and the hatches were closed. There were no cannons sticking out the side. So we painted the hull. We put, I put three coats of white on the bottom. And on the top, I had to put two coats of white for the, um, the railings. And then we put the checkerboard effect. And the way the ship was painted, it was black along where the bow sprit goes in. And then we stained the deck. Put the deck, the, um, the maple, and we put in the masts. And I, I got a plan for these sails. Um, instead of the toy looking ship, I'm going to have it look like it did when we actually went to see the Mayflower. You can see the sails are rolled up. So we're going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue on the sails. We're going to roll them up and then we're going to tie them into place with rigging. But when we put the masts in, then I put the um, stain, and that was the espresso stain. And we put all the, all the cross beams put in. And then we went ahead and we put the nails into the, the hull for the rigging. And some of the bow, there's three on the sides, there's one in the back. And we had the, the drill and then glue into place because um, there was a hole there, but we put it, we covered it over with a piece of a strapping that we put across. And three on the other side. Then the anchors are gonna go right about there. And then we stained the deck with the maple. And then the structures on the deck, we put the, the espresso along with the lifeboats. And we did the masts. So now we gotta wait for everything to dry. And once everything is dry, we can move on to the final step, which is what we're gonna do the, um, the rigging. And we're gonna do the sails. And we'll do the anchors. You know, like I said, I'll do the doors at the back, but that won't be much. But my friend, she's starting to look like a ship. So, we're ready to move on to the final steps. So, until that video, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you're having fun watching the series.